I'm hoping you guys can hear me. I just decided to do this video at the river because this is what is on my mind. And I just think it's just a different way to, different perspective that I've had in the past when I've lost relationships that I've cared about. And it could be any kind of relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, friendship, all of that. Like relationships are not easy to lose and it's like almost like a death and it's grieving in a way. And I'm just sitting at the river and I'm just really thinking about how Sometimes you are the villain in other people's perspectives and I was just really reflecting on that, that, you know, you, you really can't help how people perceive you and it's just a, it's taking me a long time to get to this point of really looking at like losing people I care about in my life but we just end up going down different paths. And I just feel that no matter what you do, you're probably always gonna be a villain in somebody's story due to their perception and their own thought process and what they think about themselves. Because what we think about ourselves is actually reflects out into our reality. So, those are just kind of the things I'm thinking of right now and if I just decided to get on and share them. Um, because I just know that like relationships and like losing people you care about not expecting it like also can be a painful process and it can be like a bitter process. Like a lot of times people get really bitter and angry used to be like that I mean in the heat of the moment I could still get like that but once I calm down my mindset is so much more different than how I used to handle these kind of situations and I used to beat myself up about what they would say or like you know and I'm still like dealing with some things but overall like you really can't help how people perceive you and they're going to perceive you based on how they perceive life in general so it's just a really trippy process going down this like spiritual journey and just really awakening and just understanding the guidance and just really embracing the process that's what i've been doing that's what i try to share with these videos is just me really changing up my lifestyle my habits and how that has impacted my life i hope you guys can hear me windy af out here as you can tell not the best lighting either you can see all my wrinkles but whatever anyways been thinking about and you know I was looking at it through the perspective of the person that I'm talking about and kind of losing a you know a best friend a partner and like no matter how they spin it on that like his side of the thing of the fence perspectives are people's perspectives and might be the villain in someone else's story but that's also not taking if they're not taking in consideration their part in the story as well and I'm just trying to really grow from the situation and really understand it's part of the process and sometimes you have to go it alone and I just have this feeling that I need to be alone and I need to be really focused on moving forward and I really I've already done the relationship thing. I've already done that. And it didn't work out well. And I have a lot to heal from from that. So it's just not fair for me to have somebody that is ready and committed to have a great relationship and I'm just not there. So I'm just focused on raising my son and providing a beautiful future for him and myself. And I guess that could be considered selfish, but I have always put other people before myself so many freaking times. And finally, I'm putting myself first and I'm seeing my goals come to fruition. So it's, it's a beautiful.
beautiful thing once you trust the process, but you do lose the people you care about along the way, and that's never easy, but I'm learning how to heal and grow from it, and that has been a very powerful thing. Oh, I can't tell if that's a hawk or not. lost my train of thought but those are my thoughts for today i might post this i might not who knows i doubt it i hope you guys can hear me i'll definitely post it if you can hear me but it's just when you are raising your vibration too certain people will fall out of your life because you're just not in alignment vibrationally anymore and it's part of the process and as much as it sucks to lose someone you care about like i'll always have respect and love for that person for what they brought into my life and taught me in the time that they were in my life and that goes for anybody in my past i you know to harbor bitterness is only hurting yourself and i've learned that because it used to make me a very angry person and i'm even learning now how to slowly get my reactions under control and not be as emotionally impacted by somebody's words or behaviors. Now I'm still working on this guys, I'm not perfect, but I am feeling a lot better than I used to feel. So, and I just think that's just part of the process. It takes time, it takes a lot of lessons and consistency towards the goals that you want and where you see your life going and not everybody is going to understand that vision and that is okay. It's your vision, it's your story, it's your, your life. So if that makes you selfish, I mean, I guess it kind of is, but I put always put other people first, and that has gotten me some very dark paths. So those are my thoughts. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Try to take losing a relationship in your life not in a negative way, I guess, is the moral of the story that I'm trying to say today. Don't take it as a negative thing. Try to look at what they taught you while they were with you and how you've grown as a person from meeting them. And just really understand that sometimes you just go down two different paths and you can't help how other people perceive you either. And once they put their judgments in their heads, I mean, that is their perception of you. And you could do everything you, to try to change that, but ultimately that's how they're perceiving you. So I don't think you should have to change who you are to please anybody. If, if someone really loves you, then they'll love you for all of you and even the broken parts of you and not make you feel like you should already be healed from this by now or, you know, like, don't understand that you're still healing. So the people that truly love you, love you unconditionally. And sometimes the ego gets to control and wants to like control the other person and control is not love. Doing things for people because you expect something back is not doing it from the kindness of your heart. It's not unconditionally. It's for something. So it's just, all lessons and different perspectives like that's what's really blowing my mind right now is the whole different perspective kind of thing the whole different perspective and just you know everybody is living in their own dimension in a way because everyone has their own perception of life based on how we were raised in a way how, what our self-talk is what we what our beliefs are what our beliefs are about ourselves all of that impacts our perspective. So even if we're in the same situation, I could perceive something completely different than how the other person perceives it, but you were in the same situation. You know what I'm talking about? It's just an amazing thing how when we take a step back and look at life like that, and it's like, okay, these are just different Everybody's living their own journey and going through life in, do, with their own perspectives and their own thoughts and their own lessons. And we need to have more compassion for one another for sure. But my main story is 
she never got way close. <laughs> My main moral to the story is try not to be bitter about relationships ending, even like friendships, relationships. Sometimes it's just part of the process and to grow, you really have to do that on your own. And the people that don't understand that, you know, kind of fade away from your story and the people that understand that will still be there in your life and those are the ones that that are meant to stay in the long run you know part of the whole journey so I will stop stop talking and just rambling I feel like I've been rambling but I hope you guys have a beautiful day and if you're dealing with some of this stuff too like definitely comment below too how you guys handle you know losing relationships you cared about you know and let me know if this helps you out because it's definitely not easy because obviously you cared for them at you know one point you guys had a bond you had a memories you know a friendship things like that so but sometimes you know I think about it like in the superhero journey like sometimes the superheroes have to part ways you know like when they're like they got to go on their own journey to really grow and become them their own individual self and that's just where I feel like I've been going is I just need to be by myself and focus on what I'm trying to build with my life and the right people will be there when it's the right timing so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day always thanks for tuning in